Hitting high here makes it possible to run around the yellow ball easily. This curve also allows you to modify the impact on the first cushion, and so to find a good course via three cushions. The red ball being stuck to the cushion, the high English gives a curve to the cue ball, allowing here to find a solution via four cushions. It is also possible to choose the solution via three cushions by generating the curve hitting the ball centrally. This point is close to the previous ones. Again, the player can create a curve using the red ball as a support. The white ball finds again the good course via three cushions. The right English, even if counted at the first cushion, becomes positive at the second cushion. Together with a high hit, it allows to describe a curve after the first cushion, which alters the impact on the opposite cushion to find the four cushion course. The speed of the movement is essential. For this kind of shot, the amount of the target ball is often better than to dose the English in order to find the right direction. The natural reflection facilitates the execution. The absence of English makes the course more homogeneous on different surfaces, and in this particular case, the position is more open after the point.
Here's another example of a natural reflection. Target ball hit one half, high attack. This time we add some side English. Here, the natural reflection does not allow to play this point within the zone, so we use the bottom English to find the right course. This cut shot is played simply by hitting the target ball at about one half, by hitting above the center of the cue ball. Here again, we find the principle of the natural reflection. The cue ball yellow ball axis is close to the perpendicular line towards the short cushion, so the player needs to use the yellow ball as a support to chase it, and he must hit lower. This delicate movement is called compensation. Although the player must use the red ball as a support again, the movement is easier than in the preceding shot because it is played above the center of the cue ball with natural English. Here we are close to what is called a half follow shot. The major difficulty in this point is simply to recognize it. This is a cut shot doubled at the long cushion. It is played easily with natural reflection and some left English. This point can be compared to the previous one, and it can be considered as easier because the red ball is in a bigger zone, which means that the contact zone is bigger. Played with the right shot power, it allows to reposition the yellow ball along the long cushion.
Hitting high with right English allows on one hand to create a curve and on the other hand to benefit from a favourable English at the second cushion. The bottom draw shot requires a rapid movement. It is important to hit the cue ball well, since this will determine the incidence. This shot is relatively easy to play, since the entry angle on the yellow ball is very favourable. The long English is very useful to open the entry angle on the third cushion. When you hit a ball rather full, in the center of the cue ball with maximum English, you slow down the rolling by adding speed to the lateral rotation. Since the ball is slowed down, the reflection from the cushion is also slowed, but the friction on the cloth is intensified, which considerably opens the reflection angle. The bottom English also offers the advantage of slowing down the ball by keeping a strong lateral English. So, the bottom draw allows here to create a long English by hitting the target ball thinner, an important condition to avoid a counter contact on the third ball. This is another example of a long English which finds its importance when touching the third cushion. Here we eliminate the regulation of the amount of the ball and the side English. By hitting the red ball rather full, the player needs to pay attention to the height of the hit to find the incidence on the short cushion. The long English will have all of its importance when touching the third cushion.
This shot is simplified by the long English, which considerably opens the angle on the second cushion and allows a bigger margin of error on the third cushion. Here too the third ball is close to the cushion, so it is interesting to use this long English to achieve a larger contact zone. This time it is not the proximity of the third ball that justifies the use of the long English, but rather the simplicity of the shot it allows for. The setting, by nuancing the English, is particularly delicate and contains various possible sources of error. <laughs> 